Henry J. Waternoose. Oh my god. This character from Monsters Incorporated sucks. Originally, Waternoose has a friendly, demonstrative, thoughtful, and fatherly demeanor. He used to be Sully's father-like mentor and he liked him as his top scarer, only to turn on him and Mike and banish them later on. Since that day, Sully, Mike, and Mr. Waternoose have been enemies, though Waternoose admits earlier that he ultimately regrets betraying them, implying that he holds himself responsible for destroying his mentor-like relationship with them in the first place. Despite being Randall's partner, Waternoose is a bit more sophisticated, modest, major-hearted, compassionate, and well-mannered than him. For example, he still showed some signs of caring for Sully, despite being upset over, getting rid of him for mostly pragmatic reasons. Though Mr. Waternoose genuinely liked Sully and Mike because of their successful teamwork, he was only driven to villainy out of desperation to keep monsters, incorporated afloat in the midst of the energy crisis, as well as due to stressful financial problems and his responsibilities as CEO. Mr. Waternoose became more villainous and manipulative as this, drive and desperation stripped away his morals and was determined to not let anything stop what he felt would be the best way for the company to keep going and letting Randall aid him in his partner's secret plot, never bothering to look for alternative energy sources. One example is when Sully tried to reason with him that things did not have to be the way he envisioned, Waternoose responded he, had no choice since scaring children was no longer working. And that's why I hate this character. And I don't know who likes or hates this character. Or what else sucks which is better. And so I am going to leave it be. Anyways. End of rant.